After widespread international condemnation, a United Nations report makes it official. On Monday, its Human Rights Council called for an investigation into genocide charges against senior military officials in Myanmar. Its fact-finding mission declared the Muslim ethnic minority Rohingyas were subjected to grave crimes under international law in Rakhine, Kachin and Shan states. Though the Tatmado and its military commanders bear the greatest responsibility for the violations outlined in our report, others have been involved in serious violations as well. These include other Myanmar security forces, the police force and the border guard police, as well as non-state armed groups and militant civilian groups. Among the most high profile to be held accountable is the Commander-in-Chief Senior General Min Ong Hilang. The finger of blame also pointed to the civilian leader Aung San Suu Kyi. The Nobel Peace Prize laureate has been criticised for not doing enough to stand up for the stateless minority. She has consistently denied the allegations of ethnic cleansing, insisting authorities were responding to attacks by Rohingya rebels. Some 700,000 Rohingya Muslims fled to Bangladesh amid the brutal crackdown last August. Refugees who had fled to the Balukali camp said on Monday they were pleased with the report. I am very happy at this news. Myanmar's government has killed tens of thousands of our people, raped our mothers and sisters, killed many children and burned our homes. So of course we want justice for this. How can we go back to Myanmar without justice? If we go back they will still kill us. UN investigators have estimated that at least 10,000 people were killed in the violence, but accuracy has proved difficult to gauge due to a lack of access to the affected regions. On Monday, Facebook announced it was banning Myanmar's army chief from its site and removed other pages tied to the country's military.